Hello, is this on? One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lotus Lab. Today's episode is brought to you by Elgato, as always. Thank you for the stream decks and other hardware that I'm using during the stream. But the topic of the lab today is diffusing the spike in a 1v1 or a clutch situation. I think most of the players at Immortal 3, at Radiant, do it incorrectly. What they do is they approach the gunfight like everyone is going to peek them instantly. And the thing is that you need, <laughs> you need to be a little bit more patient, but also greedy at the same time. There's one big aspect that people don't do, and that is taking half of the diffusal of the spike. That is something that I always advise in any kind of uh, situation when it's a 1v1 clutch, whatever you think your opponents are, unless they, of course, are on the spike, you want to take a half diffuse. And the thing is, we're gonna, we're gonna go to a custom map right now with my friend Garrett here, and we're gonna uh, ask him to plant yeah, the yeah. spike, and I want to show you what, what's gonna happen. Get it, if you could plant the spike now. So, in a 1v1 clutch situation, like here, I'm gonna retake from, from anywhere on site, right? There's, gonna, there's a plant, Killjoy will be somewhere, somewhere on site. I don't know where, but I'm gonna assume she's gonna be um, in tower or maybe be long because it's planted for that as well, right? So when I'm gonna start fighting for this retake, and when I tap the spike, I'm gonna take the half. I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna hold it. And even when I know the position of the player, I'm holding, so I'm getting half. Because now, when I tap the spike again, I'm creating so much pressure for the opponent because it's only 3.5 seconds to diffuse fully. So they need to peak almost instantly. Otherwise, they're just gonna be, you know, losing the gun, uh, losing the round outright if they're gonna let you diffuse. That's such a big thing for people to not understand what is happening, like in, in those in those clutches, because what people do typically is if we can uh, if we can plant again, Garrett. Uh, it, it, what people what people tend to do is they go to the spike, they tap it once, and instantly go somewhere to look at. Like they're gonna tap the spike, boop, and they're just gonna go here, here, not make any noise, but they're gonna try to find the player and will lose precious time. Most of the people that are in those in those fights, the the, the attackers, they are not fighting after the first beep. Because they don't think that someone is gonna hold half. It's such a big difference. It's actually unreal. Like how big of a amount of pressure it creates. You can plant, by the way. Um, where where someone just doesn't fight in the first moment. And by the way, when so when most people do this, they tap and they go, hmm. Where's the opponent? Where's the... Oh, here. Okay, and now they try to fight or something or go back, tap again, and then it's again a fake. So if the opponent is just playing for time, you're not going to achieve anything because you didn't create pressure. But if you're going to get that half when the opponent is just jiggle peeking and you just create a little bit of greediness in yourself and patient, right? Now the tap is a higher pitch. The sound is different. So... People have to fight you, so you force the opponent to peek out. That's the, such an important aspect of just clutching in so many retake situations. And also remember what is very important from the other side. When you're the player that um, that wants to uh, that wants to defend the spike that is planted, there's a rule that I follow when to peek. So, uh, we're gonna swap teams. Uh, let's swap teams, Mr. Garrett. Okay. We're gonna swap teams. And we're gonna go back to the same positions. Mr. Garrett, if you could tap the spike when I will be in tower, okay? One. Two, three. That's the moment when I peek. Because the diffusal takes 3.5 seconds. Can you um, start diffusing? And hold it? One, 
two, three. See? This is the moment when the player either commits to a half or is already off and tries to go back to defuse it. So in general, when you hear the ping, you, ca you count yourself out loud or in your head. One, two, three, you peek. One, two, three, you peek. And that's the moment when the player is in the middle of a situation where either he has to commit to half or commit to a gunfight and then go back to the spike. So you almost always will find a, an opportunity for yourself to be in a beneficial scenario, which is so huge. Most people do it too fast or too early. It's just such a big difference, you know? And when it comes also to retaking, in a 1v2 situation, for example, let's assume the spike is on, on planted on long B and I'm retaking um, and I'm retaking with my friend from Jenny. If I'm the omen and it's a 2v1 and the player can be either tower or long, I'm never plan I'm never smoking those two positions because they don't really allow me to fight. What I do is I'm gonna smoke the spike one player goes into the smoke diffuses the spike and the other player is trying to find the fight so you have like different angles being cut off so you can either in this case when the player is diffusing here in the smoke the other player either needs to spam through the smoke or go into it and typically there's no way that someone will just shift out of the the tunnel right so you're gonna have like an info because someone starts shooting in the smoke you're gonna have info because someone is just from long and it is scared that oh no that diffusing into the smoke so he needs to do something so you're open out to fighting and that is such a such a big difference as well for example when you play haven on c and people smoke long instead of the spike and your players cannot fight when you <laughs> cannot fight long when you are defusing, so the opposing players on long can spam through the smoke without being seen, right? Look, if someone, if someone, if I'm at the attacker and I'm on long and someone smokes like this, I can still ping the location and just shoot through this, and then there's a RNG fiesta if they hit me or I hit them. But if I smoke the spike and this smoke dissipates right right now and i have to fight with the player who is now defusing and i'm gonna start to spam the smoke the other player just peeks and just fights me right when my location is known and that is a huge difference as well when it comes to approaching how to do retakes or how to do post plans uh so yeah i hope you guys learned from this episode most important is remember always try to defuse half of the spike when you try retaking when you first tap the spike always sacrifice the 3.5 second to diffuse half of it it will increase your clutch rate tremendously two when you are defending the spike in post plant peak three seconds after someone taps the spike that's the moment when they'll, when they'll have to go for another ping on the spike or they're just before half on the spike and free when you're retaking in a 2v1, 3v1, 3v2, in a advantageous situation, or even not advantageous, 2v2, whatever, always smoke the spike so the other players can commit to a gunfight when you will be defusing the spike. And also, one more tip. When you are planting the spike... Uh, wait, am I defense? I'm defense right now, right? Yeah, I'm defense. Unlucky. When you are planting the spike, that is very important you want to always have your gun equipped because when you're gonna cancel the plant i need to swap the uh, swap the team for that uh one second my friends i need to show you that because this is actually very important this is actually very important to show and i forgot about this um this is a very important aspect of planting when you're gonna cancel the plant you want to have your gun equipped because you're gonna plant you cancel the g the gun goes faster by half of its time so when you cancel planting you're gonna have your vandal equipped in 500 milliseconds instead of one second which is huge difference absolutely huge difference and two well it's a good habit to have to always have a gun out ready instead of having the 
melee. There's also an option in your controls that lets you just ignore that um, by having don't equip melee and auto equip prioritizers by strongest. But if you don't like automatic stuff like this, then you have to pay attention to it. And one more tip, by the way. When you're planting the spike, this is specifically for Breeze, I would say, and Split. When you're planting the spike, but also here, um, when you're planting the spike, for example, in this spot, you want to always press crouch manually. Because when I'm planting here, in this spot, and when I stop planting, but I didn't press crouch, my character automatically uncrouches when he equips the weapon back, right? And that's the moment when you're gonna be exposed and you can get killed because your head will be visible, right? But on Breeze, when you're planting on the pyramid, well, then there's a bigger problem. Because when you're planting on a pyramid and there's the slope, right? Let's assume this is the pyramid and I'm planting here behind the pyramid like this. When, I am go when I'm canceling the plant or I finish the plant, I equip the gun for one second, right? When I finished it and I'm already exposed because my agent automatically uncrouched. So when you're planting, build a habit of always pressing crouch because when you're gonna finish the plant, you want to still be undercover, right? You want to still be covered by, by any of the environment while you are equipping the Vandal during this time, during that one second that is so crucial for your survival after you plant it. All right, I think we covered everything. This was non-scripted as always, so I hope you enjoyed the rant. Leave a comment if you want to see a different topic. Um, go to Discord as well. We have a special channel for that. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And uh, yeah, that's all. See ya. Bye-bye.